I'm Linda with paperboutique.blogspot.com and today I'm reviewing Martha Stewart's new air dry clay kit. And I'll show you the top of this and, and then the little bottom of the box. I have the Nature Starter Kit and there are many more kits available from HSN and Amazon.com. Well, I opened this kit while we were on a Memorial Day camping weekend with close friends. It rained for most of the weekend so we had a great time playing with this clay kit. Later on in the video, I'll show you some of my good friends, Marana and Florence's creation. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the kit. This particular kit was $24.95 from HSN, and here's what's included. You get a, a set of directions, and the directions are, are fairly extensive for making this particular bouquet. But a con is I'm, I'm not crazy about the quality of this instruction sheet. It talks about how you're going to take your white clay, which we'll go over in just a minute, and then mix it with the colored clay to form your individual colors. But the directions are blurry and hazy and the colors aren't, I think, as true as could be expected. But that's just a minor con. Well, let me tell you more about what's in the kit. And like I said, this one has been opened. The kit comes with some floral wire so that you can make, I'll bring this in, this bouquet. And it comes with a couple of clay tools, which are great, and some florist tape. But my, and clay, which I'll show you in a moment. My favorite are these silicone molds. Let me move this out of the way and I'll just show you these molds because they are amazing. They're extremely flexible molds and they're very, very easy to work with. I love them. Now let me talk about the clay that it comes with. I'll slide this out of the way. I received a package of clay outside of the kit. It didn't fit in the kit from HSN and it's 2.4 ounces. And I don't know if you can see this. I'll show you more clay up close. This clay is like none other. It, the best way to describe it is it's like working with a non-sticky fudge or marshmallow cream. It's incredible. The other thing that it came with are the colors. And we have already um, used these. And the way you store them is I have them in small Ziploc bags with a damp, and I've got red clay under my nail, a damp paper towel. But I found that the paper towel molded, so be very careful. We don't even live in a hot, humid climate. I live in Montana. And this is the size of, we only used a little bit of the brown. So you actually got a brown, a blue, a yellow, and the red. And then the white, let me show you. We used most of the white. It was full all the way up to the top. So you've got a, a generous white, but I'm really glad that HSN included this one because it just, you use so much of the white. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, and um, I'm gonna put these back in small Ziploc bags when I'm finished. Uh, let's just make a simple flower. I wanna show you of how this clay, how, and I don't know that you can see, but it is incredibly soft. And the colors of the other colors of the clay like this is so intense that you need just a little bit of clay. Like if you wanted that pink and I'll show you, look at that little bitty bit. And the way to mix this clay is to pull it like taffy. That's the way I found that you, you can get, look at the intensity of that pink. I mean, I used, it, it seemed like the head of a pin and I'm pulling it and it feels literally like non-sticky marshmallow cream. It's, it's hilarious. Well, let me just go ahead and put, it's not mixed perfectly, but you'd mix it just a little bit better if you weren't worried about time constraints. And then you just put it in the mold. Now, my friend Marana, who did a wonderful job, and I'll show you some of her creations in just a moment, actually took a toothpick and leveled it off like this using a toothpick. You could use a clay tool or, in my case, I'm fairly impatient. I just kind of, I just kind of put it in, and you can see that I don't have that mixed. It's going to give more of a kind of a mottled, mottled color or marbled color to it. The other thing is Martha Stewart will actually bring her clay in like this and pull it into the center to get it flat, and you can see that there's like a little bump there. Can you see that? And that excess clay, she would come in 
and actually cut that off. So there's so many different ways of using the clay, but you'll, this one was quick and easy and let me just show you. And then because the mold is so flexible, you just will, you'll just kind of pull on it and bend it. And let me just barely use my finger and look at the detail. I mean, the detail in that is incredible. Well, and then you just set this aside to dry for 24 hours. And of course I have clay under my nails. Well, let me bring in some of the pieces that have dried and you want it to dry, like I said, for 24 hours. I'm gonna bring in all of these because I wanna talk about the different texture of this clay. It's kind of hard, hard to describe if you're not actually here. Now, when it dries, and this is all dried for more than 24 hours, I don't know if you can see the bend to this. Look at that. It almost dries like a fun foam. It's incredibly, incredibly light. In fact, to demonstrate that, I'm going to actually take a piece, and this is just the small leaf, and I'm going to just cut it with the scissors. Look, I mean, look, and I'm not even forcing it. It just cuts. So it really is a texture of fun foam, seriously. And one of the disadvantages of working with it, I mean, certainly an advantage is that it's very light and it'll be wonderful to mold into flowers, et cetera. But when you normally work with an air dry clay or a Perlex clay, you can mix in, or an air dry clay, you can mix in Perlex or a polymer clay. And it didn't wanna take the color of Perlex. It didn't wanna mix in because of the texture. And I think that's because when it dries, it's like I said, like a, like a fun foam. So what I recommend when you actually are using this clay, and let me show you some of the photos here, this will help, is that instead of painting it afterwards or glazing it afterwards, you use the color of the clay to make your product. You can, I did white so that you could see the texture. The texture in this is phenomenal. And I'll move this down a little. You can paint it with acrylic paint. And I use this um, dauber from Ranger, acrylic paint dauber. But I don't know if you're picking it up, but the texture, it's sort of like painting fun foam. So it just doesn't look like an air dry clay or a polymer clay. But having said that, you know, when you're mixing it in, you know, using the yellows and the different clay colors, it's beautiful and it's very light. In this particular case, I don't know if you can, I'll move this, see that I used a darker clay in the center and lighter around it. The molds are so incredibly flexible that if you wanted to make a smaller flower, I just made a smaller flower. The other fun thing is when the clay was wet, I sprinkled glitter and glitter stuck. You can get amazingly fine detail. Look at this. And here's another example of how pliable that clay is. The, the feet just bend. And I wanna show you the, the depth. And here's a, a branch and this. And then here's just the inside of the flower. Now let me show you what happens when you try. I think it looks okay on camera, but it doesn't look as good in person. When you try to apply a glaze to it, because it almost, it's not really a, a porous surface, but it's almost porous. I just didn't get a good effect using a glaze. But having said that, you know, you can use this because it's so light, like this bouquet would weigh nothing, which would make it easy to work with, or you could do garlands with it, or you could do all sorts of lightweight decorations for your cards and your scrapbook pages. I, um, if you're looking for an air dry clay, that dries hard, sort of like a polymer clay. I did a video and it's on my YouTube channel on clay I bought from Hobby Lobby called Making Clay and I really, really like that. It, it has more of a, a, it dries more like a polymer clay. But I also love how lightweight this is and I wish I could demonstrate how very lightweight it is. But it's, it's an incredible clay to work with and it, when I say it's like marshmallows, it is like working with non-sticky marshmallow cream. Well, at this point, um, I just wanna end this by saying that this clay is perfect if you want something that is very light, very easy to use. And my close friends, Moran and Florence, made some adorable creations. And let's take a look at those. This adorable bird and branch 
was made by Marana and it turned out perfectly. If you note, she used the clay to color, you know, color the wings and the feet and the beak. Florence made these adorable flowers and leaves and they also turned out great. And this is a close-up of more of the flowers made by both Marana and Florence. They did a gorgeous job. And just remember that you could take these adorable embellishments and use them on a card. Florence went and made a card later, decorated a gift box, or you could use them on a scrapbook page. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching and for more projects and ideas please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com. Bye-bye.